In taking over the Lawrence school system, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts has taken on a particularly difficult challenge. Uh, lots of people can think about what should be the right way to approach it, and lots of people can have lots of ideas. I just want to share five of the elements that I think we have to look at to make sure they all exist in whatever takeover is done and whatever plan is implemented, and judge them by how effectively they are successful in those five areas. The first is economic development. You cannot take over a school district and look at a community uh, school without looking at the community in which it resides. And one of the things that Lawrence needs is a is sustained, focus, economic development, particularly the focus on a combination of small businesses that will hire locally and also uh, things like tool and die that will also be able, not only be able to hire managers and engineers, but also those who uh, are looking for more vocational uh, explorations in their lives. The second, they have to bring in a human resource manager who not only is good at hiring people, but really understands the role of teacher and principal and staff evaluations. No school is going to be successful, no district is going to be successful unless it has a significant way of understanding who's doing a good job, who's not, and how can we effectively improve their professional development or, or have them move on to a school district that may be more appropriate or to another profession that's more appropriate. The second person that needs to be hired is an outstanding instructional leader. Instruction uh, has to be focused on providing 21st century skills, a revolution in the way we approach a learning PK-12, and it has to be integrated PK-12 and thought of in a sequential manner as as our peers do in Singapore and Finland. And that instructional leader has to be looking out for the best new practices to teach math, to teach science, to teach literacy, uh, and also to include the arts, etc. And that person also has to have a clear understanding of the role of professional development of teachers. You can't just pick a good curriculum, you have to be prepared to provide professional uh, development uh, for teachers to learn and implement that curriculum well. The third is someone who's really focused on the social emotional learning of the children and the and, and the adults in the building. You have to have a K-12 program that really focuses on how people become uh, human beings, how they develop a high moral character, and how they make uh, uh, sufficient choices that lead to a strong and healthy lifestyle. The fourth person has to look at community partnerships. You have to have a coherent way of integrating the school into the community, and most particular, as kids get older, as they move through middle school and high school, what type of internship, co-op experiences will students have as part of their learning so they can see, as they prepare for their careers, uh, have actual experience in those careers to which they are being prepared. So they have a sense of how to integrate what they're learning in school, what they'll need in the world. And the other person has to be there is really focusing on staff development, not just faculty development, not just administrative development, but also staff development. A uh, huge number of people who are working in the schools are those who are uh, affecting the, the staff who uh, lead the bus, who are the janitors, all have an impact on, on, the, on the schools. So I really advocate for the uh, hiring of a CEO who is really focused on budget and staff development uh, so that the principal and superintendents can focus on the instruction and the leading of children. And ultimately, we also have to think that it has to be a long-term plan. A three-year turnaround, improvement three years is absolutely mandatory. You have to see a significant a reduction in, in, in um, on graft and corruption within the system, and you also have to see significant improvement in grade and scores starting in kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. And those you have to see the trends of improvement. But more than that, you need a three-year plan and a five-year plan followed by a 10-year plan of where this school district and this community will be in 10 years in order to really have a successful program. Otherwise, you're going to have some short-term development. Things will change. There'll be a lot of uh, anger among parents and anxiety among faculty, uh, some short-term games. But unless it's within the context of a long-term plan, it's destined to fail. And Lawrence won't be the last district that we have to uh, 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 bring sufficient uh, support to. So whoever comes in uh, to run this district needs to have a plan not only for Lawrence, but also something that's replicable and scalable to the other high-need districts in the state that may need this help as well.